Good day, everyone. My name is Jim Sullivan. I am a software engineer here at the 321 Gang. And uh, today we're going to cover the Rational Team Concert and Jenkins integration. So you will be able to run your RTC builds out of the Jenkins tool. The first step in building or configuring the Jenkins RTC configuration is to download the RTC Jenkins plugin. So that we would do from the configure systems within Jenkins. Um, we would uh, search for it. And once we have it, once you search for it, you would click the install and you would see it right here appearing in the uh, global configuration. Um, what, yep, what we do is we give it a name. In this case, I just picked RTC build. Uh, we do have to uh, check this box, avoid using toolkit on master. Then we simply put our uh, URL to, the, to our CCM that we're using where our build is located. Uh, we have to add a timeout. And then we add our uh, login for our CCM, making sure that that user is licensed properly. You would click test connection. The connection uh, has to come back successful and we click the save button. So that puts us into a point here where then we have to go to global tool configuration. So in global tool configuration, we would click on uh, RTC build toolkit. And now that the RTC build toolkit is installed, what we would do is uh, enter here in the name, our uh, RTC build plugin, and then the path to where our RTC build kit is installed. So uh, we need to provide that path. And then it's, in, it's within this path is where the uh, RTC will interact with Jenkins. The next step, now that we have the plugin downloaded and configured for Jenkins, would be now to uh, configure our RTC build engines and build definitions. So what we want to do first is go into our build engines. You might want to click create new engine. Um, we would click next here on the wizard. And what you would do is obviously pass in an appropriate ID name and you would move down here to uh, and select as an engine type Hudson Jenkins. And you can click finish there. And what you will get here are the pages. Uh, we can fill in anything that's that's appropriate. In this case, I don't need anything more. Uh, we would put in our the path to our, in this case, I'm just running out of local host. We have to use authorization required because my Jenkins requires authorization. Username, password, test connection, and then you would save it. So I have one here that I, and obviously you have to see this test connection. I have one here that I have, I have previously configured. And as you can see here, I've already run a build out of it. As a matter of fact, this build just ran oh, a few minutes ago today. So this is the build engine, and it's obviously connecting to the Jenkins engine or the Jenkins RTC plugin that we configured uh, a few minutes ago. After we have the build engine working, we will need to create a build definition. So uh, again, we go in back up to the builds folder. This time we go above build engines, a right click, and we click new build definition. Uh, we need it in this current project, which is fine. Exa that's exactly what we need. We can uh, give it a name appropriate name and what we'll do is again look for Hudson Jenkins build they can they give as you can see they give you a lot of room here for your search window so be careful it's easy to to pass some of the uh, templates that uh, you need so just be a little bit of, uh, be a little bit patient click next uh, we do want jazz source control in this case and we can click finish and here we would add our new Uh, 
uh, Jenkins engine, pass in whatever uh, properties, and we would definitely want to click on here the get jobs. So when you click on get jobs, it will return all of our current Hudson Jenkins jobs, which if we compare over here to Jenkins, we can see here they are all listed. So you can see here now that RTC is communicating with the Jenkins plugin. So that's a good thing. So if we see all that, we know that we are um, very close to getting the configuration working. To continue with configuring the build definition, um, we see here this is a, an existing one. I have added the Hudson Jenkins build engine. And in the Jazz source control, we need a workspace. So I am uh, entering in my Jazz workspace so my or my RTC workspace. So that's important to have. You can select an existing one or create one. Select and navigate for it. And we need a load directory. Here, as you can see, there these are environmental variables, and um, these are these can obviously you can look up what these are. This simply is an output root directory that RTC takes from uh, one of our current workspaces, and then build label is an RTC environmental variable. These are um, these are what you want to use because you want every build to have a slightly different directory and. Um, this build label here will ensure that that directory is different every single time. And it's a good idea in many cases, especially if you're doing continuous integration, to select uh, accept latest changes before loading. So that way you know you will have the latest changes in there. That is a good rule. And uh, it, it will support the popular practice of continuous integration. And if we click here on the Hudson Jenkins uh, tab again, which we just did uh, a, in our previous demo, we can see here I just simply filtered away those other um, Hudson Jenkins jobs. So this uh, this can be dedicated to our. Um, uh, so I'm clicking there, and so th this can be dedicated to our uh, single uh, build job here. At this point. We have RTC and Jenkins fully communicating, uh, fully configured. So now we are ready to actually execute the builds. So at this point, what we're going to do is go to our new build definition that we have configured to run with Jenkins as the build engine. So I'll just, just like with uh, any RTC build, I'll select it, right click, request the build, and I'll click submit. And as you can see down here, the build has started. It is build label. Let's get the build label. It is queued up with a build label. We can see it's build label 34. And if we go over to Jenkins, and this might be done already, we can see that, well, here it is right here. Build 34 is actually running right here in Jenkins. So that is um, that shows that the integration is running. And in about... Uh, so in a minute or so, we should see that this build is, is actually completed. So we can see here, now the build actually completed. So uh, we, and also, it all, it's also possible to run this uh, build out of a different build engine, an RTC build engine. It's not uh, necessarily a best practice, but the exact same build can also be run with a build engine using the Jazz build engine. So we can see here, well, here, here it is, this 34, this label 34, which hopefully you can see, is actually listed as part of my uh, builds for uh, a Jazz build engine. So you get that rich communication between the two builds. So if I open this up, so we can get an example here of the completed build we can also open it up in, um, we can also go in and, and open it up in our web clients as well. This is actually a web page. So we can see, and if I, um, again, if I click the refresh here, we can see here this is a pending build still. The, um, and it's finally found it and it's running in there. So we can see here the, uh, the the integration is, it's a rich integration. It's integrating back this 
um, number 34 is actually integrating back with different build engines. And this build engine happens to be a, um, a jazz build engine or an, the IBM build engine, but um, it's all, uh, it, it's all uh, listed together. So we can get, uh, we can have a little more uh, in, information about and about the different types of build engines that, that we have. So this concludes this brief demonstration on configuring the Rational Team Concert J Jenkins plugin and configuring the build engines and the build definitions. If you have any questions, please contact us at 321GANG. And also, if you require training or any consulting or services related to Jenkins and the RTC build tool, don't hesitate to contact us at the 321 gang. Thank you, everyone.